Welcome everybody to today's live webinar on virtualized appliances. On today's agenda, we're going to talk a little bit about the pros and cons of networking functions in virtualized environments, um, as well as talking a little bit about the advantages of what we're talking about here today, which is dedicated virtualized networking appliances. And for those of you that are uh, new to array networks or perhaps are a little bit unfamiliar with array networks, I want to give you a little bit of background about the company, about the organization itself. Uh, and then I want to dig in a little bit deeper about Array's virtualized hardware appliance, which is the, the ABX series. So we'll talk a little bit about the product itself, its architecture, as well as taking a look at three key solutions uh, uh, that we can enable using the, uh, the ABX platform. And then lastly, uh, go into the details on what we think is a very compelling promotion that we're, uh, we're having here, which is a two-for-one offer on the Array uh, ABX series uh, appliances, uh, followed by, of course, some Q&A at the end. So before we get started, uh, on today's call, uh, I'm Paul Anderson, a Senior Director of Marketing for Array Networks. Uh, also on the call with me today is Abhishek Gupta, uh, Senior Sales Engineer uh, for Array Networks. And I mentioned that we would answer any questions, uh, hopefully get to all the questions you guys might have at the end of today's webinar. So in the webinar portal, there is a chat window, there's a Q&A window. Any questions that you might have, go ahead and just type those in along the way, and we'll be sure to try to get to all those at the end. If we can't get to all of them at the end, uh, we'll follow up with you individually, make sure that we get those answers and get those answers out to everybody. Uh, we'll also have some time at the end while we're answering questions for you to any new questions enter into your mind, just pop them in the chat window and uh, we'll be sure to answer them. So getting started, before we talk about virtualized, appli uh, virtualized networking appliances, I wanted to just do a brief recap of, you know, why do we like virtualization to begin with? Or, you know, what were those benefits of server virtualization, which most organizations today have uh, are taking advantage of, and, and there's lots of them, right, which is, is driving the huge industry for virtualization. Um, some of those being, you know, energy savings, uh, reduced data center footprints, so space, power, cooling, uh, you know, lowering your OPEX, uh, buying less hardware, uh, so lowering the, the capital expenditures. Uh, that ability to um, fully utilize the equipment, carve it up, uh, give it to some internal resource. When they're in, done using it, you can take that same resource and give it to somebody else. So you really uh, you gain that agility and that efficiency and that ability to maximize ROI for your infrastructure. Uh, again, you don't have to, without having to do individual dedicated servers for each application or for each use case, um, you can simply uh, roll out these services to uh, uh, various applications and services uh, very quickly, uh, and that gives happy end users or happy customers. And the ability to use some of these virtualization tools that have centralized management uh, really allows you to ease the burden on IT. And lastly, portability, uh, the ability to abstract out that hardware layer. Um, you know, I can have an application running in a virtual environment, and as long as that same virtual environment might be running on some different hardware, I can move it, uh, which can be very beneficial in terms of disaster recovery and a, and a number of other, uh, a number of other use cases. So these are all the things why virtualization uh, is beneficial to organizations. So with that being said, now we'll start to take a look at networking. So what about networking? Well. Uh, networking still looks, for the most part, still looks very different to that virtualized server environment. Uh, we still have out there, you know, a multi-vendor environment with a lot of dedicated appliances still out there. They don't benefit from uh, all those attributes that you would associate with cloud and virtualization, such as portability. Um, a lot of these have to be racked and stacked, individually installed and managed. Uh, you get a lot of different vendors, a lot of different appliances, and they take a lot of space and a lot of power. Uh, you pay for each one of them independently. So it's very different right here. Um, not really benefiting yet from all those benefits of virtualization. But the question's being asked, okay, can these functions be virtualized? Can I begin to bring these networking functions into a virtualized environment? And, and that is what's happening now. So the pros and the cons. Um, there, right now, there's some good and there's some bad. So the pros, uh, many vendors, Array Networks included, now offer virtual appliances uh, which will allow a lot of these networking functions to run on virtualized servers. So 
for instance, you can go to various vendors and you can find load balancing, global load, uh, server load balancing, uh, SSL offload and encryption, web app firewall, DDoS, VPNs, WAN off, firewalls, IPS, IDS. You can find these things and you can generally begin to find virtual editions of them that you can run in, uh, whether it's VMware, Hyper-V, uh, of some flavor, KVM. You can find that out there. Um, and and you, get all, you begin to get these benefits that we talked about earlier. So uh, networking begins to benefit from many of the same advantages afforded by server virtualization. That's the good stuff. Um, on the flip side of that is you know, there, there was a, a bit of a reason why networking had these dedicated appliances, and that's because many times networking functions are compute intensive. They take a lot more compute resources to perform, especially true when you look at something like SSL encryption or, uh, you know, doing a lot of web application firewall work. So what we're finding is, is that in some cases, um, you know, VMs are sufficient to support lighter workloads, but as we work with larger customers that have large, maybe public-facing web presence or support a lot of users or applications that are very uh, you know, high volume in terms of their traffic, um, that this can overwhelm the virtual machines and it can impact performance. And so in these high volume environments, uh, moving network functions onto virtualized servers um, can potentially create a problem. And, and an example of that, uh, looking at this, this uh, graphic here on this next slide, I call it the physical versus virtual dilemma. Um, you know, I, I look at something, if I take a, an HA pair of dedicated appliances, in this, in this case I'm using the example of an application delivery controller with load balancing, running some SSL offload, you know, I can, I can support a heck of a lot of traffic, a heck of a lot, a lot of users on an HA pair, two appliances, but again, it doesn't afford the agility of those virtualized uh, solutions or those uh, uh, you know, virtualized solutions. Uh, now I try to take the same application, same number of users, and I try to support that using, let's say, load balancing and SSL, which are virtualized versions, and I'm going to run that on virtualized servers. Either I'm going to have a performance de degradation or I'm going to have to spend a lot of money um, to have the number of virtualized servers I need uh, to achieve the required level of performance. And so this can become cost prohibitive, and, and sometimes it may not even be possible. So you're caught here a little bit in the middle. Um, and so what does that mean? Uh, it kind of worked its way back around to the point of today's webinar, which is um, for many organizations that do want to go down that road of the agility of virtualization uh, and gain all those benefits, but the nature of their applications, their users, their workloads is such that uh, it does have uh, uh, demands for high performance, scalability, reliability. What would be very beneficial is a product and a solution that's capable of delivering the agility of cloud and virtualization, but also delivering the performance of dedicated appliances. And that is what a virtualized networking appliance is. That's what Array's AVX series appliances are, and that's what we're going to be talking a little bit more about today. So introducing the Array AVX series. So what is it? It's virtualized hardware. So it's physical hardware that's made and provided by Array networks, and it's purpose-built for networking functions. On that purpose-built hardware platform, we run individual proprietary VMs, and on those individual proprietary VMs, we run individual networking functions. Um, you can see here in the, in the graphic that you have an AVX appliance. In this case, it's, it's showing that it's been divided into four VMs. Um, you'll see later that it can be also divided into eight, 16, 32, a number of different, a lot of flexibility in how it can be divided. And in this case, you, you, you know, showing here that it can run um, ADC, it, load balancing. It can run web application firewall. It can run SSL VPN. It can run other stuff. Um, the unique thing about this appliance is that we do dedicated hardware resources per VM, per virtual machine. And so that's CPU, SSL, memory, input, output. Those things are all dedicated per VM. So you get all the agility and the flexibility of being able to run these functions in a virtualized environment. However, you get all the performance, scalability, and reliability you need to run enterprise class applications, large web-facing uh, services and applications. So you get 
the best of both virtual and physical in one solution. So before I go into too much detail on the AVX platform, I want to take a quick time out and just give a bit of background about Array Networks. Uh, we've been around for a fair bit of time since 2000, so we're approaching now you know, somewhat close to 15 years of being in the business. We're headquartered in Silicon Valley, Milpitas, uh, in California, USA, and uh, an organization of the size of about 400 plus employees. The market, uh, we call the market we play in application delivery networking. Uh, this is a bit of an umbrella term that these days uh, you know, begins to encompass all these layer four through layer seven services. Uh, you can see here, in addition to the virtualized appliances, ABX, that we're going to talk about today, uh, you know, Array has been providing application delivery controllers. Um, you know, this is the, the evolution of the load balancer. It's the load balancer with integrated traffic management, caching, compression, compression SSL offload, traffic shaping, uh, content rewrite, all kinds of fancy, advanced features now that you know, web application firewall, things like this that we've rolled into that product. Um, we've also, we make secure access gateways, um, a, a very robust SSL VPN, uh, web application firewall, as well as WAN optimization controllers. As far as the segments that we serve, uh, enterprise, absolutely, uh, we've been doing that for a very long time in addition to uh, public sector. Uh, however, with uh, the advent of the cloud, uh, software as a service, infrastructure as a service, uh, more and more our solutions are being deployed into uh, large cloud providers. Uh, strong technology portfolio and uh, a worldwide uh, organization. Uh, a very strong presence in North America, in Europe, uh, China, it's a very big market for us, as well as uh, Japan and uh, India as well, very strong presence there. So um, a global company, uh, global partners, global resources, um, and just over 5,000 customers uh, worldwide. And the bottom here is just a small sampling, uh, but uh, for yeah, well over 10 years supporting enterprise, enterprise class app, app delivery requirements at big customers, soft layer, a big infrastructure as a service cloud provider, now an IBM company, Oracle, Humana, and so on and so forth. So just a little bit of background about uh, Array Networks. If you want to learn more, uh, you can go to our website, tons of information there. So. Back to the AVX uh, series virtualized appliances. Uh, right now we support two flavors, the AVX 7600 and the AVX 10650. Uh, the difference being that the AVX 10650 is double the capacity of the AVX 7600. I mentioned earlier that these things can be divided up into uh, multiple virtual machines that can run multiple network functions. In the case of the AVX 7600, you know, you can run 16 entry, eight small, four medium, two large virtual machines. And when you look at the 10650, you see you can do up to 32 entry, 16 small, eight medium, or four large virtual machines. Again, if you go to our website, you have very detailed performance metrics on uh, exactly. You can see down at, at below here, these are the system capacity, right? So uh, depending on how many VMs or, or, or how you choose to mix and match these, you're carving up. It's, it's very scalable. It can support a lot of connections per second, concurrent connections, tons of throughput, tons of SSL capability. These system capacity metrics get divided up depending on you know, how many large, medium, small entry uh, VMs you put on the platform. But there is plenty of performance here. To dig a little bit deeper, um, this slide here really tries to illustrate the concept of the agility of cloud and virtualization with the performance of dedicated appliances. So in the top portion of the screen here, you see some of the things that I've been describing. So flexible size options. You can mix and match up to 32 entry, 16 small, eight medium, or large, uh, four large uh, virtual machines. And you can see on the top here, I've got, I've got a few different uh, large, medium, small, entry uh, all on one platform. So the graphic in the middle there would represent the AVX platform. Um, multiple network functions. So today um, you can deploy array ADCs, you can deploy array web application firewall, you can deploy array uh, SSL VPN. Uh, in the future you'll be able to deploy additional array uh, functions as well as potentially a third party functions turning the AVX into a platform designed to run networking functions uh, at higher levels of uh, performance and scalability. 
pay-as-you-go capacity, another cloud and virtualization-centric concept. So when you buy the Array AVX platform, we don't make you buy the whole thing, pay for that all at once. So we follow the cloud and virtualization principles, and you can purchase that at a quarter capacity. You can purchase it at half capacity, uh, three-quarter capacity, full capacity. You can buy it at a quarter, increment it by quarters as you need that capacity. Um, so truly pay as you go. And another cloud and virtualization principle is the concept of orchestration, automation, and management integration. And uh, we have worked with our partners, you know, OpenStack, Microsoft, VMware, to give you the ability to uh, manage these virtual resources as part of a centralized uh, management infrastructure. Moving down to the bottom is talking about, okay, what's enabling the performance of dedicated appliance? And the first thing is uh, full resource segmentation. So not only have we uh, allocated dedicated resources for each virtual machine, we have also dedicated resources for hypervisor management to eliminate any contention between virtual machines. And as I mentioned earlier, whether we're talking CPU, SSL, memory, input, output, each one of the virtual machines, regardless of their size, is allocated guaranteed resources. This means that whatever specification we call out on our website and our data sheet, that that virtual machine will support, it will always support that. That means that if a business criti critical application you have demands a level of performance, it will get that always. It will not be compromised. Uh, if you are using this platform to create services that you might sell or provide to different customers or end users, you can sell them SLAs. So you can be confident in selling a product and the customer will always receive that product. So that was a bit of an overview of the product itself and there are many solutions that you can uh, run off of this. I want to touch on three that we are already uh, working with customers on and we see as three primary uh, use cases or applications for the AVX series platform. Uh, and those are consolidating load balancing for enterprise applications, um, integrated application delivery platform, uh, as well as offering application delivery as a cloud service. So you know, let's just dig in. Uh, so consolidating load balancing for enterprise apps. Um, one of the things what we're seeing out there is uh, there are a lot of customers where their uh, traditional dedicated individual appliances, that, and they've got fleets of them, um, are coming up for a refresh, right? So they're in that position of, you know, do we, repur do we repurchase these, um, you know, or upgrade to another set of individual dedicated appliances for supporting their, um, you know, their mission critical applications? And one thing that we're positioning is, is don't make that mistake again. Um, you don't need that. That's going to, you know, it's going to cost you a lot of money. You don't need to do that. Uh, instead, what you can do is you can begin to look at something like Array's AVX series virtualized appliance, and you can do on, let's say, an HA pair of AVX appliances, you could do what you might have needed eight or 16 individual appliances to do. Um, and so now, look, what are you getting there? Um, you, instead, you can pay a lot less, right? You're paying for fewer hardware appliances, uh, less space power pooling. Uh, install it once, and then you can provision and turn up and turn down and configure those applications remotely. And again, as I mentioned, you can purchase the capacity as you need it. So it's just a much more intelligent solution. Uh, not only do you pay less, but you get a lot more. Um, so you can do, as I mentioned, per application SLAs, uh, per VM management. So you, you can very easily, uh, you've got multiple different uh, IT departments, IT groups, you've got security groups, networking groups. Uh, each of those VMs on our array virtualized appliance, can, the management of those can be delegated and assigned to individual units and individual groups. Uh, in addition to picking up the orchestration integration that I was talking about earlier. So um, this is something that we're positioning with a lot of prospects and customers that are looking at having to refresh load balancing and application delivery infrastructure and getting them into something like this that we think uh, potentially makes a lot more sense. The second one is integrated application delivery platform. And, and this goes back to that original messy graphic that I had where I had a, you know, a rack full of wires and cables and uh, tons of different uh, appliances, each for its own uh, function, each from its own vendor. Um, and I think that can be collapsed uh, into something that's uh, uh, 
a lot more streamlined. So what you can do here is, using the AVX, create a high-performance virtualized environment for compute-intensive app delivery functions. So uh, beginning to put onto one platform your load balancing needs, your secure access SSL VPN needs, uh, your web application firewall needs, those things you can do today. Uh, tomorrow we can bring on our WAN optimization capability and third-party so solutions to follow. Um, so you can see here, you can use this support, if I look at the graphic, anything, uh, whether that be the enterprise applications, whether that's load balancing and layer four through seven services for uh, virtualized applications and virtual desktop environments, um, I, even providing secure access uh, to uh, physical desktops. Uh, you can just do so much from this one platform uh, and really use it to enable on-demand layer seven services. So within your organization, you know, at different points in time, you're going to need different services. Uh, application access, you've got partners and contractors need to work on a particular product. They need uh, an SSL VPN for a particular period of time. Turn it up, give them the service they need. Uh, uh, you, know, you need uh, uh, application availability for a new application or service you're bringing up. You can provide that. Uh, really turning this thing into uh, what I say here at the bottom, dynamically provisioning private cloud app delivery services for internal network and security teams. So uh, creating this uh, application delivery platform. And finally here, um, a little bit different, um, more targeted at the, the cloud provider and the infrastructure as a service or perhaps managed service provider, hosting provider. And that is beginning to turn these, you know, many people are you know, offering storage and server as infrastructure services. And more and more we're seeing that people want to be able to build a complete, uh, a complete environment or a complete infrastructure in the cloud. And that means also being able to offer networking services as well. And this platform here is just fantastic for uh, offering networking services to customers. You can offer multiple different networking services from one platform. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, you can offer different sizes for different size customers. And um, the other thing for customers that have, uh, you know, enterprise customers that might have higher demands, you can guarantee performance for those customers. Um, not only that, but not only, not only offering, let's say, load balancing services, SSL VPN services, WAF services, but one of the things that we find with customers that are using it like this is they can have, they can spin up a VM that's dedicated to providing secure access for customers and for the cloud provider admin. So the, the cloud provider admin can VPN into one of the virtual machines at a remote point of delivery and get in there and manage all the infrastructure uh, that they use to enable services. And likewise, on a separate VM, uh, you could have all the customers have VPN access to come in and manage and configure the services that they've purchased. So a very uh, uh, ideal and robust uh, platform for uh, offering application delivery uh, cloud services. Uh, and just one example here that I'll give. Um, SoftLayer IBM is uh, one of our uh, bigger customers, um, and they are a uh, you know public cloud, private cloud, infrastructure as a service uh, cloud provider. Uh, just recently bought by IBM, growing rapidly, and um, you know, they've been using our load balancing and SSL VPN products for many many years uh, to offer both the load balancing and the uh, SSL VPN services. And now, based on all the uh, uh, the value proposition of what I've been describing today, uh, the testing and the evaluation is well underway for uh, moving from using uh, dedicated appliances to using the virtualized appliances to uh, power these services. And finally here, I kind of want to bring it together um, just to reiterate that value proposition for the AVX series of appliances. So guaranteed performance. So. This platform can support business critical applications and it can also offer services with SLAs. Uh, multiple functions. You can support ADCs, SSL VPNs, web application firewall today, WAN optimization and other functions tomorrow. Flexible size options. Um, you have entry, small, medium and large virtual machines that can be configured and also these can be, the capacity of the appliance can be, uh, can be purchased in quarter, half, three quarter, and full capacity options. 
on-demand provisioning. So rather than we talk about individual appliances that have to be individually racked, stacked, brought up, configured, this product goes in once and sits there. From here on out, all the provisioning is uh, remote software configuration to bring up, change, enable, so on, uh, in addition to the cloud orchestration and automation that can be layered on top to centralize control for the uh, functions riding on the appliance. And reduced cost, uh, reduced space, power cooling, and also uh, many, many fewer uh, hardware appliances that uh, is needed to be purchased. So that, that, that's the, you know, the overview, um, the background, uh, a little bit about Array, a little bit about the Array ABX series appliance, as well as uh, some of the solutions that we enable and the value proposition for the ABX. And so I want to talk a little bit about the promotion that we have going for uh, those of you that uh, joined us on today's webinar. So uh, we think it's a pretty compelling offer. And if you purchase an Array ABX series appliance, you will receive an identical HA unit for free. So let's just say that you say, hey, I want to buy an Array ABX 7600 with a quarter capacity. You would receive a second Array ABX 7600 with a quarter capacity free. If you said, you know what, I've already, in my mind, have an idea of how I'm going to be using this thing. Actually, I want to buy three quarter capacity, keep a quarter in reserve if I need it you would get another AVX with three-quarter capacity free. So whatever it is you buy to meet your needs today, you will get an identical HA unit for free. And a little here about the program details. It's pretty basic. It uh, applies to both the 7600 and the 10650. Again, our website has very comprehensive and detailed information about those two so that you can make some decisions about what uh, might fit your needs. Uh, valid for any capacity option. So again, um, you order a quarter capacity, you get a quarter free, and the same applies whether it's half, three quarter, or full. And I think importantly is that we don't charge anything more for um, the virtual appliances or the networking functions. What you pay for is the capacity on the AVX platform. So. ADC, load balancing, SSL VPN, WAF, all that software feature functionality is no charge. That's all free. Uh, I will say we make an exception um, when it comes to, let's say, an SSL VPN where we have uh, some concurrent user licenses. And if you want to uh, you know, have many, many users, the uh, concurrent user licenses, is, uh, we sell that separately. But all the functional software is rolled in, and that's all free. Um, support professional services available at a 30% discount. And this whole offer, uh, for those of you that are on the webinar, um, it's valid for proof of concepts that are starting prior to uh, October 31st, uh, 2015. And with that, we will move on to Q&A. All right, so let's see here. We have one here. Can you tell me what my advantage is of using this solution versus putting a virtual appliance load balancer on my existing uh, VMware or Hyper-V? So basically the main difference is the performance. While you work on VMware and Hyper-V, they are good for small uh, workloads, but when you need high SSL DOS, DDoS, higher uh, performance on the load balancers. The solution that we are talking about uh, is talking about with a dedicated perform de uh, dedicated and a guaranteed performance on each instance. Uh, if you are actually having smaller workloads and you are looking forward for VMware Hyper-V option, we do have them, and we encourage you to have a trial or get contact to some of the uh, sales teams that you, that is uh, in the in your region, and they should be able to help you in more info. Yeah, let me, let me add to that. From my experience is that um, um, you know, working with customers, working with prospects, we get a lot of people that want to, um, that want to go virtual. So that, that's, that's their mindset coming in. And we work with them and take a look at, well, what are your, physic, you know, what are your uh, physical appliances doing right now? We begin to take a look at that. What are their needs going forward? 
And we, you know, we do this evaluation, and then and the customer kind of comes to the realization that yes, if I want the kind of performance I want, and I'm anticipating this level of growth, and even though they came to us wanting, because uh, Array, Array offers the whole thing. We offer virtualized appliances that you can run on anything you want, VMware, Hyper-V, KVM, uh, Zen, doesn't matter. Our, our, our software will run on any of those things. We also have dedicated physical appliances, and of course we have the virtualized appliance we talked about today. So they may be looking at one thing, and we do the, you know, look into everything, and it ends up they buy the, uh, uh, they buy the hardware uh, just because of that need for performance, scalability, reliability. So what we're introducing here today is something that instead of having to perhaps put them into you know, a, a dedicated uh, hardware appliance, we can begin to put them into this uh, virtualized appliance which they can buy on a pay-as-you-go basis and have tons of flexibility, uh, a, a lot of the agility that uh, you get with uh, virtualized appliances. One of the very important reasons that we're introducing this AVX uh, is that the reason we see a need that there, there is a lot of refresh of existing hardware where customers or infrastructure service providers have multiple hardware instances to, de to, to deliver services for different service points or applications. Right with this solution, you can actually consolidate without losing the performance that you already had with dedicated appliances. Uh, another question here, just regarding the uh, perhaps getting a, a, a demo, uh, take a look at the interface and getting a quick demo. Uh, this is something that we can absolutely do. Abby, you want to talk to that a little bit? Yeah, so uh, the, the, uh, the purpose of this presentation was to introduce AVX. If you really want to see the interface and a short demo of it, uh, we have the details. We will get in contact with you and make sure you attend it uh, to ensure you get the uh, demo that you're looking for this solution. I had a quick question here just regarding the, uh, the PowerPoint, the presentation, uh, the webinar itself. Um, we will be making, uh, we will be sending the PowerPoint uh, to all participants today, uh, as well as a recording of the, the webinar is generally available uh, in about two to three days after the webinar itself. So for those that perhaps need to share with uh, others in, uh, in their organization, uh, we're making those resources available to you. Um, question here, can I run anything on the VMs on the box for higher performance? Um, is it a proprietary hypervisor where you can only run array function or can I run anything I want on it, Tommy? Uh, currently, the uh, design of the solution is that we use a KVM uh, hypervisor and this is uh, not a proprietary for any network. However, we have customized it to get these functions and the features uh, with the performance that we have for the software. Currently, we support load balancers, access gateway, and application uh, WAP solution on it. Uh, as we move ahead, I think, uh, yes, we are more open to have third-party solution over it. This is in plan and it's a roadmap. We also have uh, van optimization solution and other third-party solution supporting KVM uh, that we can uh, see be, be, a, be a part of the whole solution together. Um, do I need two AVX units for high availability or can I get away with running two VMs on one AVX appliance? Uh, AVX itself is a hardware which has multiple instances. If you want to run high availability in N plus one cluster, you can have two VMs on the same AVX to run into high availability. However, we encourage you to have minimum two separate hardwares which can have uh, different power sources and rank uh, allocation so that if there's a problem in one rank, uh, the other uh, appliance still continues to give you the high availability. Um, can you create multiple network zones on these appliances? How many NICs does the lower grade, uh, which I assume is a 7600, have? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, basically, 7600 supports 8, 10 uh, uh, gigabit interface, which could also be uh, an SXP or SXP Plus. So you can actually have 1 gigabit or 10 gigabit from it, depending on the second uh, side connectivity to it. Yes, we support multiple network zone. Each zone is actually attached to the instance, and this instance will actually have their own uh, private network to connect to uh, networking devices. Uh, on how many next does, it, uh, does the lower one have? We have eight 10 gig interfaces. Each 10 gig interface will have multiple virtual interfaces which can be used to 
uh, communicate uh, as a private network. And this may be our last question here. Uh, so performance for the appliances looks pretty good. Uh, can you provide a bit more information on how complete your feature sets are for the various network functions that you described? I think the whole solution has been provisioned to give you the networking function on demand. Uh, so basically what happens when the base network or the basic networking is set up for multiple interfaces to connect to different uh, VLANs or subnets, uh, what needs to be attached is to provision the, uh, the software, which is the instance on it, which could be a, uh, which could be a load balancer, it could be an uh, access gateway or a VAT. So once the network setup is done, provisioning and automating those services for it is as simple as uh, starting uh, creating a VM and configuring for it uh, for the access. Uh, can you team the NICs? Yes, uh, bind, uh, bonding is, uh, uh, is a network function that we support on the uh, appliances. And I'll add to Avi on the, the previous question. Uh, regarding the feature sets, so uh, they're very robust feature sets. Um, I encourage you to you know, visit our website and uh, visit the product pages for any one of our products, and it's going to give you a, a, a very comprehensive uh, description of the features and the capabilities. Uh, so we're not talking about something here that's very uh, performance-centric but doesn't have the capabilities and the features that you need. Uh, who really are giving the, uh, the best of both worlds. Let me check the window one more time here. So that looks to be all the questions that we had for today. Uh, if you have any additional questions, uh, my email address, Avi's email address was in the beginning of the, uh, in the, beginning of the webinar, so uh, absolutely forward any questions you might have to us as well when we send an email uh, containing the presentation. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and uh, forward that to us. We'll absolutely answer them. Um, you know, for those that wanted a demo or uh, uh, looking at the interface or beginning to kind of get some hands on with the product, uh, we'll definitely follow up with uh, all of you individually. Um, and with that said, um, thank you everybody, thank you Avi, and that will conclude today's webinar on virtualized appliances. Thank you.